Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Sometimes people are born with genetic mutations that may hinder their lives. Some of these mutations are really useless and serve no purpose other than embarrassing them. Let's look at 10 most useless human mutations. 10. Club Nails Club Nail is one of the most useless human mutations. It's a change in the structure of fingernails or toenails in which the finger and nail takes on the appearance of an upside-down spoon and becomes red and sponge-like which looks very uncomfortable. Clubbing may be a normal inherited trait, but roughly 90% of cases are related to lung cancer. In clubbing, the nail beds soften and the nails may seem to float instead of being firmly attached. Clubbing most often comes on gradually but may occur fairly rapidly for some people. For people with secondary clubbing, the symptoms may go away after successful treatment of the underlying cause. Nobody is quite sure why clubbing occurs and there are probably several mechanisms. It's thought that for many people, less supply of blood in the distant regions of the fingers results in the formation of connective tissue leading to the appearance of clubbing. It's just a useless and ugly human mutation that no one wants. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Nine, tail. You might be thinking, how can humans have tails? You might be surprised to know that according to science, tails were common in humans and everyone had them. People who did not have them were called different and weird. Fascinating, isn't it? Now tails are very rare in humans. The occurrence of a human tail is a phenomenon of great interest to both the lay and medical communities. There are only 40 cases of true human tails reported in literature, hence this condition warrants review. This condition, usually present in newborns, causes anxiety and fear in parents, hence it's brought to medical attention very early. Babies born with a vestigial tail will need to undergo an imaging test such as an MRI or an ultrasound. This is necessary to classify the tail and make sure it isn't associated with a medical condition like spina bifida which can be very dangerous. Surgery is the treatment for a vestigial tail. Because a true vestigial tail is composed of adipose and muscular tissue, doctors can quickly remove these types of tails with a simple surgery. This procedure doesn't cause any residual side effects. Would you want your newborns to be born with tails? 8. Super Tasters a super taster is a person who tastes certain flavors and foods more strongly than other people. The human tongue is wrapped in taste buds and the small mushroom-shaped bumps are covered with taste receptors that bind the molecules from your food and help tell your brain what you're eating. Some people have more of these taste buds and receptors so their perception of flavor is stronger than the average person. Super tasters are particularly sensitive to bitter flavors in foods such as broccoli, spinach, coffee, beer, and chocolate. Most scientists agree that super tasting is a really useless human mutation and it's very common. About 25% of the population qualifies as super tasters. Women are more likely to be super tasters than men. Super tasters may seem like picky eaters. They may even have a lengthy list of foods they won't eat because the food is so unpleasant. Indeed, certain foods aren't going to find their way into a super taster's grocery cart like broccoli or spinach. Who even eats those? Seven. Piebaldism. Do you hate your white chunk of hair or unpigmented skin that you were born with? Blame it on the useless human mutation known as piebaldism. Piebaldism is a genetic condition typically present at birth in which a person develops an unpigmented or white patch of skin or hair. The cells that determine eye, skin, and hair color are absent in certain areas in those with piebaldism. These cells are called melanocytes. In nearly 90% of those affected, the area of piebaldism is seen as a patch of white hair near the forehead also called a white forelock. Some people may have areas of unpigmented skin or hair in the eyelashes, eyebrows, and skin under the larger unpigmented area of the white forelock as well. It's a completely harmless and useless mutation that some people are born with, and there seems to be no treatment for it. 6. Color Blindness Color blindness occurs when you are unable to see colors in a normal way. It's also known as color deficiency. Color blindness often happens when someone can't distinguish between certain colors. This usually happens between greens and reds and occasionally blues. In the retina, there are two types of cells that detect light. They're called rods and cones. 
Rods detect only light and dark and are very sensitive to low light levels. Cone cells detect color and are concentrated near the center of your vision. There are three types of cones that see color, red, green, and blue. The brain uses inputs from these cone cells to determine our color perception. Color blindness can happen when one or more of the color cone cells are absent, not working, or detect a different color than normal. There are different degrees of color blindness. There are glasses for the people who are colorblind so that they can see just like other people. It doesn't affect the eyesight in any way, nor is it harmful. It's just a useless human mutation that some people are cursed with. 5. Heterochromia This is one of the rarest mutations in humans. Heterochromia is when a person's irises are different colors. It's not creepy at all, in fact, people with heterochromia look beautiful and rebel. There are a few kinds of heterochromia. Complete heterochromia is when one iris is a different color than the other. When part of one iris is a different color than the rest of it, this is called partial heterochromia. There are many types and causes of heterochromia. An infant can be born with it or develop it soon after birth. In most cases, children born with heterochromia will experience no other symptoms. They don't have any other problems with their eyes or general health, so it's just a useless human mutation and not a threat. 4. Asian Flush This is in no way related to a restroom. The Asian Flush is best known for creating a lobster red face and neck when people drink alcohol. Getting a red face after downing alcoholic beverages is not a sign of strong energy flow or good blood circulation, but rather it's an indication that your body is not metabolizing alcohol efficiently. This phenomenon called Asian Flush Syndrome is common among Asians of Chinese, Japanese, and Korean descent. The condition also results in a heightened heart rate, headache, and nausea. That's because people who turn tomato red when they drink alcohol lack activity by an enzyme called aldehyde dehydrogenase 2. According to doctors, it's mostly a harmless mutation, but if you turn red after drinking alcohol, you might be at a greater risk of getting a stomach-related cancer or peptic ulcers due to a genetic inability to efficiently process acetaldehyde, a toxic byproduct of alcohol. 3. Double Lashes Dystichiasis, commonly known as double eyelashes, is a rare condition where you have two rows of eyelashes. The second row might include a single lash, a few hairs, or a complete set. Compared to normal lashes, the extra lashes are usually thinner, shorter, and lighter. Typically, dystichiasis affects all four eyelids, but it can show up on just one lid or the lower lids. In most cases, dystichiasis is congenital, which means it's present at birth. It can be caused by a genetic mutation that's linked to heart problems. You can also get dystichiasis later in life if your eyelids are inflamed or injured. Developing double eyelashes after birth is less common than the at-birth form there aren't any harmful impacts of double lashes. It's just a useless human mutation and its only advantage is that you can make people with no eyelashes jealous with your double eyelashes. If the parent has it, it's highly likely that they will be present in the offspring too. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. 2. The Werewolf Syndrome If you hate your unibrows, blame it on a useless condition known as hypertrichosis. It's excessive hair growth over the human body. Hypertrichosis can develop all over the body or can be isolated to small patches. Hypertrichosis may be present at birth or arises later in life. This mutation has some heavy social consequences people think you're just weird and avoid you. The cause of hypertrichosis is unknown. Hypertrichosis at birth is believed to be a genetic disorder that is inherited or occurs as a result of a spontaneous mutation. Hypertrichosis later in life sometimes occurs in people who at a later stage are diagnosed with a cancer of some form. This hair growth is often confined to the face with long, fine, silky hair noticeable on the nose and eyelids, sites that are normally hairless. It's not known why a cancer causes this excessive hair growth. 1. Trimethylaminuria Don't even try to pronounce this rare disease in front of other people to save yourself from the embarrassment. Trimethylaminuria is a disorder in which the body is unable to break down trimethylamine, a chemical compound that has a pungent odor. Trimethylamine has been described as smelling like rotting fish, rotting eggs, garbage, or urine. As this compound builds up in the body, it causes affected people to give off a strong odor in their sweat, urine, and breath. As you can guess, people with this disease have a hard time having relationships. 
The intensity of the bad scent may vary over time. It doesn't harm the health of the person in any way, but this useless mutation can harm the person's social life. The smell can interfere with many aspects of daily life, affecting a person's relationships, social life, and career. Some people with trimethylaminuria experience depression and social isolation as a result of this condition. That's our list of 10 most useless human mutations. Which one do you think is the worst? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.